coming to visit me again. It's greatly appreciated. And to those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Cassidy from the Glam Green Girl. You can go and check down in the description box. I've got all my social media and my blog post links there. So you can come and visit me there. So today's videos is pretty much May and June's favorites. June was all about my blog's sixth birthday. So I had six giveaways um, during the month of June. But I actually really missed blogging and I missed like interacting with you guys on my blog. So as of Monday, there will be new posts, new videos and all of that. So I'm so excited. Um, some new products I've been testing out, some new products I've bought. So I'm keen to share them all with you. And yeah, so I thought I would just give a quick summary of the products that I've really, really enjoyed these past two months. Um, I know we've just started in July now, so it's a May and June favorites. And um, yeah, so here are my thoughts on these products. So first up, we have the Urban Decay After Dark palette. Um, this palette dropped a few weeks ago, and oh my word, I have been loving it. Um, it's got a lot of warm shades, a lot of cool shades. So as you'll see here in the top row, we've got more of our warm toned colors and in the bottom we've got our cool toned colors. Um, very fun because you can sort of wear like a daytime look and then pop it into an after dark look with this palette. I must say my favorite go-to color at the moment is definitely Off Duty. This beautiful bronzy brown love it um, and then I like to mix it up a little bit sometimes with either supersonic or backfire in the crease today on my eyes I'm wearing off duty and supersonic and then just um, my brow bone I use a little bit of Ulta um, so yeah you can wear it for daytime definitely and then for nighttime you can have a lot of fun with it so I have really enjoyed using this palette um, pigment is amazing insane as you'd expect from Urban Decay uh, you get your brush with it and yeah really really like this palette so I do think this is a definite must -have. next we have the Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation um, this foundation I saw on so many bloggers like Instagrams and tweets and everything how much they recommended this and I couldn't find it for quite a while but then I managed to find it at one of my disc games so I quickly snatched it up and when I posted about it on Instagram you guys were so excited about this foundation so I thought well it definitely must be a goodie then and I am so impressed with it um, it's got great coverage it doesn't feel too heavy on your skin. I'm wearing it at the moment now. Um, I would suggest that you wear like a primer underneath just so it doesn't dry your skin out too much. But it is really lightweight. It gives a great coverage. Um, mine's in shade 020 Rose Beige. And the only, only thing I don't really like about this product is the dropper. Um, I'm not such a fan of that. I feel a pump bottle would have been better. It's just easier for me. But that's a personal preference. Um, other than that, I am definitely going to go and grab another bottle as soon as I can because my last Catrice foundation was discontinued. So, um, yeah, I really, really love this. And the price is amazing. I think it was like 175 Rand or something for this one. So, you can go and get it at Discam or take a lot and then they've got Catrice so yeah third in my roundup of May and June favorites is another palette the Glowgasm palette this is from Switch Beauty they are a cruelty free beauty company in South Africa and they kindly sent me this beautiful highlight palette I am pretty obsessed with this everybody needs one like you need one it suits all skin tones it's just such a great product um, I always use this as my bronzer and then I usually switch between this shade and this shade um, the gold mm, I still need to play around a little bit more with that but yeah I really really enjoy this product I love Switch Beauty as well if you go onto their Instagram they've got such a beautiful feed which I really enjoy and 
and obviously that they are cruelty free it's just the best along with this palette they've also got a few eyeshadow palettes um, and if you go and head on Instagram you'll see quite a few rave reviews about it so I'm definitely impressed and I think I want to try one of the eyeshadow palettes because I've only heard such great things and this palette is oh phenomenal I'm really really happy with it so yeah Next, another one of my faves is this Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade In Demand. Um, that's what I'm wearing now today as well. It's a liquid lipstick, but it's not that... Uh, I find with a lot of liquid lipsticks, they're very drying on my lips. And I feel, I can, I feel conscious about them on my lips the whole time. But with this one, um, it stays on for so long. It's got this beautiful applicator, which helps you sort of line your lips as well. And it's a great shade this one's like a nude shade so you guys know I love my nudes this was my first lip product that I've tried from Smashbox so I was quite excited about it it's not drying out on my lips or anything and the color stays really really long so I'm definitely impressed Last but not least, um, another one from Urban Decay, but if you are like me and you live here in Pretoria and it is winter, it's like, hello, dry skin everywhere. So this has been my prep spray before I put on my makeup and this one is supercharged with coconut water, which we all know is super, super hydrating. So I love it. Just a few quick sprays and it just helps to hydrate my skin again and just keep it hydrated during the day because I feel like winter here in Victoria ugh, it's just so dry everything's so dry so yeah this is the Urban Decay quick fix spray and it's a definite for prepping your skin before you put on your makeup okay guys those are my May and June favorites um hit me up in the comments section if you have tried any of these products and if you want to try any of these products, if you like them now after I chatted about them, I hope you do because, yeah, they are definitely winners. I'm so impressed with them. The links to the reviews on these products will be down below in the description box. And yeah, thank you for joining me. Bye.